I'm going to share with you some phenomenal, game-changing advice I recently got because it was so good that I want you to benefit from it too. As I said, I have <clears throat> in the last few videos, I have a new rabbi I was consulting with. He was talking about the dating process. And he said the way to go about it is not to build the connection first with the person, which is the normal way, right? This is the way of the world. You build the connection, you romance, wine and dine, uh, maybe move in with each other for a couple of years. Um, so the way we're going about it here is, he said, don't build the connection first. Just see who the person is at the deepest level. See their character. See if you know you can make it work. Now, you might say, how do you know you can make it work unless you try connecting a lot? So it's really back to the powers of meditation, intuition. Why this form? Because then we don't get all enmeshed with someone's life we might not end up with. If we get enmeshed with someone's life who we might not end up with, then we're going to neglect all the aspects of our life we want to build, our health, our business, our learning, being good to our families, on and on. Um, it's like that song by uh, Foo Fighters. Uh, is someone taking the best, the best, the best, the best of you? Na, 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 na. Is, is, is someone taking the best part of you without fully committing, right? It's really un-American. Although someone wrote that dating book, The Rules, a while ago, I think it's called, which was sort of similar. It was a big hit about not basically about not getting over-involved before marriage. See, the, the idea here is that we, we look for our soulmate. And when we find a bit, first of all, we don't, we don't start going out with someone unless we really think it might be the one. We're not just playing around and having fun. And, but the real, the real hittish, the real, inner wisdom for me was that if we meet someone that might work, we don't work on it first before marriage, right? There's a, there's a temptation to say you meet someone who's poor, first you help them become rich, then you marry them. Say you meet someone who's sick, first you help them get healthy, then you marry them. Say you meet someone who's emotionally out of touch, you help them get in touch, then you marry them, right? Which, by all intents and purposes, is perfectly reasonable. But how many of us get, get sucked into a relationship with someone and we give it our best? Is someone taking the best, the best, the best, the best of you? How many times do we give our best and then we don't end up with that person, right? This is just bad economics. This is just bad economics. It's the advice I got, the miraculous game-changing advice was to only go out with someone to, to see into it. And to really see if I can see it. Not to start the whole connection enmeshment process first. It's high level stuff, you know. But it's not so high level if you just think about it. Think about how little kids are. They just see who someone is. They see if they trust their energy and then they go towards them. If they don't trust their energy, they stay away from them. We're... we're it's like an inner child kind of advice, right? We, we, we want to learn so we can become more simple. 
usually learning, so-called learning, connotates getting more complicated, you know? So we want to learn so we can become more simple. And we want to give our best to the person we're going to build a life with forever and not get sucked into silly halfway things anymore. Okay, so if we're single, we should find our soulmate and marry them. If we're married, we should make our marriage work. Myself, I'm single. And um, we should all help each other and uh, get this thing done. Okay, God bless. Bye.